it did not install. I'm just here to uh, fix a problem that the plumber created when he put in the body sprays too far apart and uh, they're not usable the way they are, yeah, too far apart. So I'm going to tear down some tile, open up the wall, plumber's going to come in and rework the plumbing and then I am going to put the tile back up. So, and what we find here is that whoever installed this tile I used a five spot method. There's barely any thin set on the wall and there's none on the tile. I used the wrong kind of thin set. Tile just popped right off. Thin set did not stick to the tile. Five spot method. Not a good idea to use that method. So as you can see there's barely any thin set on the wall. Um, and, and this leaves big cavities behind the wall. So behind the tile so it's not a good thing. All the tiles came out came out whole. So five spot method is not a good idea to use the five spot method. But anyway, so I opened it up and the plumber's gonna come in and he's gonna rework this plumbing and then I'm gonna come back and close it back up again. I'm not gonna be touching the rest of the shower. Uh just this part here. And uh I told the homeowner he knows all about it. So there's the rework plumbing all ready to go so I'm going to close this up now and uh, put the tile up. I'll put some strapping on each side here so I can get the um, wonder board uh, you know, butted up against the sides there and I'll have a nice strong joint and put the plastic back up and let the board up do rock in this case and I'm going to be waterproofing this, something that the other tile guy did not do. Uh, waterproofing is very important. kind of seems pointless because the rest of it's not uh, waterproof. But uh, this is the proper way of doing it, so I'm just going to do it. And then nothing I can do about the rest of the bathroom. Full spread on the wall. Back part of the tile completely. And this way you get uh, good coverage in the back of the tile. You don't get all those cavities. We're um, who knows what can grow back there when water gets behind there, and it will get behind there over time. So we got the um, tile back up. Another thing this tile guy didn't do is uh, leave some grout lines between the um, the stello there and the tile, so it's just tight. I have to go back with the original because it all has to match. So nothing I can do about that. So just putting it back the way it was. Uh, so anyway. Tiles all up, all cleaned up and ready for grout. And well, we're almost done here. I'm just going to grout this tile. There it is, all grouted, all finished, all cleaned up. Um, grout's still wet, so it doesn't exactly match the old grout, but it will be exactly the same color when it's dry because it's exactly the same grout. This bathroom is less than three months old brand new house uh, that I had to fix.